Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you a video answering question I get every stream, and that is, what are my add-ons? How do I set up my UI? Can I have all of your settings? And the answer is yes, with a small donation of $200. No, no, I'm just kidding. It's all free. This is all free. I'm going to go through every single setting I have, every single add-on I have, every single everything. And if you don't want to watch the video, all the files from my add-ons are in the description. So if you don't want to watch it, feel free to just copy and paste them into your folder and you should have my entire UI. They're all yours. You can do whatever you want them. So with that said, let's jump right into it. Now I'm going to run straight down the list of add-ons, go through any setting I have changed just so there's no question. So the first add-on is advanced interface options. What this does is it gives you more customization of pretty much everything. If you go into CVAR browser, you can find, I think every single thing you can adjust in here everything i mean you can literally just change anything you want with this add-on and me i don't change much the only thing i change is max camera distance i set to 2.6 that's it um you i think by default the camera distance is set to like two so it's something like this it looks your camera looks something like this it's zoomed in like this a little bit i don't really like to be zoomed in especially playing a healer so the 2.6 did i already yeah 2.6 makes it so i can just completely zoom out and it looks like I'm like very, very far zoomed out. That's the only reason I use the add-on. You can also use a script for it. Oh, and floating combat text as well. So uh, I don't really like to watch. I don't even like to see damage numbers either. I don't really like to see damage or healing numbers going out. I'm just not a fan of them. I think they're kind of distracting. So I do turn those off. I just use that to turn it off. Otherwise, you could, again, you could use a script for it all, but it's just easier with an add-on. You could also change the world text scale. So you can change the size of everything. So it's a pretty cool add-on. Really, really good. I don't really change anything else. That's that's the only settings I change. Next up is big debuffs. I do get this question asked a lot, and that's my settings. So toggle test mode. These are my settings right here. I don't really move or change much in here. Again, take whatever you want from these these settings. Uh, I set the max debuffs to 20 just because I want to see them all. And I set the anchor to left because I have other add-ons I have on the on the right hand side. You you could change this to anywhere you want, inner, bottom. Um, it's either left or right, though. You can go left or right. I just go left. Works for me because I use Omni CD on the right, which I'll talk about. Um, as far as like the size of everything, I don't really change it that much. This doesn't change, I don't think. This is just default. Um, unit frames, I don't have enabled. This is what lets you, I think it sees it on like nameplates. I don't really enable that. Um, this one is for enemy nameplates. So I think this is for teammates and this is for enemies. Um, I do like this a lot. Um, I, I like being able to see certain debuffs on people's nameplates it's really really helpful um as far as priority goes i don't change anything this is what changes it so it, you you can like see like certain things close to the raid frame if i move defensive buffs up i'm sure something would change but this i don't change that much crowd control is number one thing because as a healer i want to know when my team's in crowd control so i can dispel it um and then as far as spells go nothing i don't change anything the only thing i did change was um death mark i think is in here yeah so death mark so what you can do with big debuffs which is really cool, is you can customize certain spells if you want to see it. So Deathmark, what I did is I set a custom priority to 100 and the custom size to 100. So what that means is it's the top priority. It's going to be like the first thing I see on the raid frame, like the closest thing, and then the size is going to be huge. But since Deathmark is kind of gone, I can just like... I think I could set the priority to like 80%, 85, but I can kind of tune down the size a little bit. And you could do that for any, like literally any spell, any single spell that you think. I can't think of any spells. Uh, maybe execution sentence. I don't know if like, oh, here we go. Execution sentence, right? Um, this is a really big spell that rep pallies get, you know, get some damage out, I think. So what you could do is you could just set a custom priority, make it like 100%. So you see it when it's, when it's active and then you can change the size to whatever size you want. Really, really good add on. You can really get into like, depth into this add-on i don't do anything crazy with it again i just kind of just see uh the crowd control so the priority crowd control is 100 i want to know what i can dispel so that's big debuffs these next two add-ons go hand in hand blizz move and d modal so or d model these two allow me to move any frame around that i want so for example i can move my character anywhere i want i can also have i can move this around anywhere i want i can have another screen i can move this around anywhere i want so this is really good again it, it's really good for when you know you're making gold and like for example i couldn't have my profession screen up at the same time as the auction house it was like closing it down so this is what allows me to have both my professions and my auction house up at the same time so it's really good. It's also handy for doing pretty much anything else. I really like that you can just move it around. Um, every time you log in, it resets the position so you don't have to worry about messing it up. But I really like this these add-ons for just being able to move things around because it's really annoying when, you know, I can't, when things close down, I can't 
when, when multiple windows are open. Buff Overlay is a new add-on that I just downloaded. I was watching Foxy Llama stream and I was like, wow, I, I, that looks like a weak aura where it shows buffs on people's raid frames, but it's actually not. It's an add-on and it's it's Buff Overlay. Um, what this does is it will show defensive cooldowns on the raid frame. So if I press Restore, all, oh, am I not? That should have went off. Or Life Cocoon, there we go. There we go. So Life Cocoon, uh, it shows a little thing. If I use Fort Brew to show this, if I used uh, Diffuse Magic, it'll show it there. Um, dampen harm it'll show it and you could do that for all your teammates as well so this was this is what's helpful when you can see what is active on your teammates and you just have to, to add spells you just go into bars you go to spells and then you can kind of just click around i have not really played around with this add-on that much again i just downloaded it like a week or two weeks ago um i just what i did is i just enabled big you know big cooldowns i think people are going to be using um Besides that, that's all I've done. I have not changed anything else. I haven't changed icon count, nothing. I've changed nothing else. But yeah, it's a really good add-on, really good for just helping you know, you know, if your red's bubble is up, if your his parry is up and active. Um, really, really helpful. Diminish is another great add-on. So what this does is it shows DRs on anybody. So what you could do is you could show your own DRs, which is what I do, um, toggle test mode. So what this is gonna do is I have my DRs right here in the middle of my screen, right underneath my character, and it shows when I'm off DR for stuns, polys, lines, anything, anything. So this is, helps me because if I see a mage casting a polymorph and I'm on poly DR, I know he's gonna cast it on a teammate. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to stop it. I'll get ready to dispel, uh, something like that. Or it, it kind of shows that they're trying to pre-poly my DPS and then try to get a poly on me once I'm off DR. So I need to dispel or reposition. So really, really good add-on. Um, it works really. It works with any other add-on too. So you can have your focus target. I don't have a name of my focus target. I don't have it for my target or um, my um, party members. But one insane thing that it does is it puts it on nameplates. So as you can see here, you can see that there is our DRs on the nameplate, and it's really good for when you don't want to look away from the center of your um, screen because the center of your screen is the most important thing that you want to be looking at in arena match. So this is really good for just not having to keep your eyes off of enemies and being able to position and not have to look away. Um, as far as arena goes too, this will also show DRs on the arena frames, um, whether using S arena, Gladius, or just default, it works with that too. Um, and I, yeah, I don't have party enabled for these as well. And as far as like DRs go, I don't, have any i should probably have disarms taunts no um i don't have any other like drs tracked i don't have disarms tracked on me or roots on me because that's fine um but everything else i do have tracked and then as far as frame size goes countdown i don't think i've changed these that option or that often i don't think i have i i do have the font outline is thick um but i think that might be the only thing i do. maybe show swipe for cooldown but that is pretty much all i have all i've changed um i've just moved around the position of them and it's just helpful for me. Um, you could probably, I'm not gonna lie, you could probably lower the size, like uh, this is this, but like the countdown size, you could probably make a little smaller, like something like that. Because sometimes the icon is is like really difficult to see, so you don't want DR there on. But yeah, that's diminished, really good add-on, play around with it, but I don't change many settings in there. Next up is easy frames. So easy frames is simply just for UI. It does not do much. It's what this right here is. It's what shows my, my name and my target's name and my focus frame, I think. Yeah, my focus frame. Um, one thing I do check, uh, I do change the texture to clean. I, I like I like having clean, it's just nice. You could have it, You could, again, there's like, there's so many, you, you could change this to whatever you want. Um, I think by default it's like Blizzard or something. I just like having clean. Um, don't have, I don't have any other, ch I don't have any other settings changed. I don't think so. Um, oh, portrait, I do set to class and not default. So default, I think it shows, yeah, just your character. I like seeing the class, just so I set it to class portrait. I think it's the same for, yeah, target as well. I just set it to class portrait. I, it's just easier. I just like doing that. There's nothing else to it. Um, but as far as every other setting, I don't change anything else. I, I, li I literally do not change anything else. I just use it just because I like how it looks. It's really clean. Um, I don't use a light texture. I use the dark texture. Um, but that is pretty, That that's it. Um, I just like how it looks. Next up is Leatrix Plus. I would say this is almost a mandatory PvP to add on to have because you, you could do so much with it. Um, this shows durabil durability status and then the player chain. So this is what puts the elite frame around my character. Um, it does a lot of things. You can repair automatically, which I apps I need this. I, li I literally need this um, because it's just painful. Actually, I should accept something too. Um, 
and then release in PvP, social. Again, I don't really. You can block a bunch of things. I don't really. I, I don't really mess around with these add-ons. Chat. You can do a bunch of things with chat frames and the mechanics for it. Uh, text. I hide error messages because they kept popping up, and this just hides it instantly, which is insane. Hi, you can hide keybind text. You can hide macro text, which is awesome. Um, interface again you can show durability show the little the little dragon which is cool uh frames i don't have anything high talking frames because they're kind of annoying um but that's i mean that's pretty much it that i change and then system set weather density so weather density i set to off this is actually important uh this is i was lagging in tiger's peak and blades edge arena because of the snow in tiger's peak and then like the orange i don't know mist in blades edge uh, i just turn it off so it doesn't lag me anymore and then you can set the max camera zoom similar to um the interface advanced interface option so uh yeah those are really really good add-ons or this is a really really good add-on um easy item destroy oh this is this is a really good this is a really good setting what this does is it allows you to just delete um anything out of your bag without having to type delete so if i wanted to delete something you don't have to type delete anymore it just automatically deletes it so it's it's a, it's a very quality it's a nice quality of life add-on to have. I would highly recommend it. It's really good, um, and it's one of my favorite add-ons. All right, we got Omnibar, which is again another must-have PvP add-on. I would say this is what allows me to track um, all of everything. Uh, let me test all right here. So these I have different bars for different situations. I'll go through it. These are two different bars I use. This is interrupt bar, and this is a cooldown bar. So what this does is. Um, I made two separate bars um, right here. Or I made four different bars. One for burst cooldowns, one for defensive cooldowns, one for dispels, and one for interrupts. Because I don't know how people have one long bar of every cooldown. I don't. I actually don't know how people can track it. It's crazy. I don't know how they do it. I can't, though. That's not how my brain works. I need to have everything in a certain position, and that way I know where to look. So, for example, burst cooldowns. How you? This is how you make a new bar. What you do is you create bar. Name it. Um, what do I want to track? I want to track uh, DK cooldowns. Let's just let's just say I want to track Death Knight cooldowns. All right, for some reason, um, spells. You can you could just uncheck all. So now there's nothing checked from anywhere, and you can just go into Death Knight and then just enable what you wanted to see, and that's that's it. That's it. That's literally it, which is crazy. It's it's so easy. So what I've done is I've used burst cooldowns, and the spells I check are just. Certain ones in Holy Assault. I think there's another one for Frost. There should be Pillar of Frost in here somewhere. Maybe I'm not tracking Pillar of Frost, which is a little bit of a, <laughs> a little weird. I'm actually not. I'm actually not tracking. So there we go. Um, and I just do that for every single class. And then I have a. I have it put separately. Um, I do the same thing with interrupts. Same thing with um, dispels. So that's what I use. And then as far as visibility goes, it, what you do, what I do is I set it to show in arena RBGs and battlegrounds. And I have show unused icons. So what this means, show unused icons means it'll show the ability, even if it's not used. And then as enemies appear. So only the enemies on the other team are going to show their cooldowns. So that's what I like. There are some people that don't like to use the show unused. They like to just have it blank until someone uses it. That's cool doesn't work for me i like i like to know what kicks the other team have and then you know it just helps my brain like no you know um but yeah this is this is what i use for omnibar again making making bars is so easy um and you could track anything you can literally track anything if you want i can also have another video that shows you how to add custom spells um that may, may not be here but they pretty much track everything in here which is nice and this is a basically a mandatory pv add-on that you should be using Next up, another, I would say another mandatory PvP add-on, Omni CD. This add-on is so freaking good for healers. It's good for everybody. I would say if you if you PvP, even, even if you're a casual, please download this add-on. What this does is it allows you to see cooldowns that are available from your teammates. It's so good. Now, 100% if you're a healer, you should be using this add-on, 100%. DPS, maybe not mandatory, but I would still recommend it. It gives you really good awareness as to what cooldowns are available for you and your team what's active what's not active everything so i don't change much in here because this add-on is perfect um i don't 
yeah, I don't think that there's I, I just have it set to arenas, dungeons, battlegrounds, raids, because I do mythic plus. If you don't mythic plus, you could drop dungeons, but I do. Uh arena again. So I show to do, do, do there's nothing really I change in here. Position, I just set to here. Uh, the position I have set to right. So you know how before I said I have big debuff set to the left? It's because I have this set to the right. You could swap them, you could change them, you could put them wherever you want. It's cool. I just have it right, left. Easy for me to know where everything is, and it's just nice. Um, icons, again, I don't show numbers for icons. Toggle the cooldown number. Oh, yeah, this will show the cooldown of it. This is really good. Um, and as far as spells go, just go through here and see what you need. I don't, I, I track these cool, these um, trinkets because I think it's really important. I show, show forbearance cooldown because rats are insane now, and I'm playing with the rat, so I think it's really important. Racials, I just will to survive and will of the forsaken is what I track. You could probably track fire blood if you want to, but I kind of just will to survive is important because it gets right out of your team out of stuns and this gets them out of fear. But a lot of people aren't undead, so maybe you don't have to. Um, and then, then yeah, from there you're just tracking cooldowns. Um, I mostly, I mostly just track defensive cooldowns with this. Um, I don't really track burst cooldowns unless I really have to, unless it's like huge. So like for paladins, for example, I should probably track. Uh, their wings. I, I should definitely because the re is because it's such. Oh, I do. I do. It, it makes such an impact to the game where I want to make sure that when wings is active for my rep alley, like I'm ready to CC a target. I'm ready to stun something, you know. Um, same with warlocks, actually. Uh, I do track tyrant, I'm pretty sure. Let me see where tyrant is. Oh, uh, I feel like I do track tyrant. Um, maybe I don't. That's weird. I thought I did. But I'm, oh yeah, no, I don't actually. I, you want to track Tyrant as well. These, these I track like the major burst cooldown because that you want to know when it's active so you know when to CC. You don't want to wait CC when there's no burst cooldowns, especially when it's just coming up. So um, as far as that, that's it. That's it. That's all I do for Omni CD. Again, these add-ons are really good. I don't track kicks though. I don't track, I don't know why that's showing. Um, I don't track kicks um, because I, I think it's just like, Oh, I, oh, it's because it's it's just in test mode. Yeah, I don't track kicks like for my teammates or anything like that because it's just not. I don't care. You know, you, you don't you don't want to get into like some kind of information overload where like you're just looking and like wait like you don't you just want to look glance see what cooldowns are real glance back to the game. You don't want to see like nitpick cooldowns or interrupts. It's just go for major cooldowns, the major burst, most of the defensive cooldowns, and then just this helps you track what's available. Opie, yeah, you you can call me a PV ear. You can call me a PV ear. I download this add on. <laughs> what this does is it show it lets you just like makes these rings for like mounts. I, every PV ear has it, and I thought it was pretty cool. I don't know many PVPers that use it, but it's a cool add on. So I, I, I didn't customize anything. I literally didn't customize anything. I downloaded it and I just started using it for mounts. I mostly got it so for this otter mount because when you go into the water, you swim faster. So I got the little otter mount, but you don't need this add on. Pre-made groups filter. This is an undervalued add-on, especially if you're pugging. What this does is it helps you filter out LFG a lot easier. And I know a lot of people can complain about LFG. This add-on re is really, really helpful. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna check here, right? I'm just, 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 just uncheck everything here. And what this, and you can, you can check for whatever you want. You can filter for whatever you want. So what I'm gonna do, really easy. I'm gonna filter for a three v three arena. Ready? So now I'm checking for all three v three games. Um, now as a healer. It's really annoying looking for groups where they already have a healer. Like, for example, there's already a Disc Priest in this group, so they don't need a Miss Weaver. Disc Priest, um, you know, uh, Resto Shaman. So what I do is I check heals, and I check to make sure there's zero to zero healers. So what this means is I'm going to filter for groups that are 3v3 and have no healers. So I search. Boom. All these groups now have no healers, and they're free for the picking. Now... Right, let's just say you're like, you know, you're looking for a certain rating, you know, um, wow, 2259 group, you know, you're 2200 plus, you could filter for PVP rating. So I want to heal, you know, let's say I'm on my alt, I want to heal from 1400 group to like a, let's do 1800, you know, to 1600 alt, search, boom. Now we're searching for 3v3s, 3v3 groups with a PVP rating of 1400 to 1800 with no healers. And then you just kind of hope you get invited. <laughs> from there <laughs> you just kind of hope to get invited and i do that for everything you can do it for twos as well like you could do it for any anything twos these are the only twos groups um you can uncheck check whatever you want really good add-on helps me pug because i do pug a lot quartz another good add-on here the, again it's simply cosmetic it just makes my casting bar like just nicer i don't really like the new one that came with the 
the expansion, I really like quartz. You could use it for your focus as well. So if I put someone on focus and I target myself, you can kind of see this is what it looks like. I like it. Um, nothing else really to it. I'm just a fan of how it looks of, you know, and that's pretty much it. I don't change anything in here either. Um, I don't change that anything. I just move to where I just change it to where it is. But yeah, um, I do disable everything in here though. A, a lot of this is enabled like outside, like pet latency, GCD buff minor. I, I don't even know what any of this stuff is. I disable all this. I, I try to keep my UI clean, minimal. I don't want any of the extra stuff. So I just to save all that, just put it for player target and focus reflex is a really good add on for PVP. And what this does is it lets you track your, the games you've played, you know, it's really cool. It's really, really nice. So this week I've went 34 and 17, um, and we just smashed and it shows what comp you played, what comp you've played against win loss, everything. It does it for twos, threes, solo shuffle, like. And you could show it all. So that's really nice. It does it for RBGs as well. So it's just good for tracking your progress. I think it's really helpful for when, you know, if you're stuck in a rut or something, or if you're trying to get information on like classes that kind of counter you, or, the, you know, you're just feeling rough, you can kind of check what you get into, kind of watch it back, see how you can improve. Really, really helpful add on. Talent Tree Tweaks. This is a new add on I got. It just uh, is this. It, it's just, it lets you resize it, which is cool. Your talent tree, it lets you change your specialization um, from the main talent tree. So I think that's really cool. That's it. <laughs> that's that's literally it. Um, there's nothing else to it. I just like that you could change your your specialization in here. I like that you could resize it. I like that you could change your, the transparency of it. So you can make it like completely see through, like half through. I don't know. I like seeing what's going on behind my talents. So like normally I have my talents. Oh, hello. Uh, set to like this or something like that maybe maybe a little more something like that but yeah that's that's literally simply cosmetic nothing crazy trophy gcd this is what shows my globals down in the bottom right hand corner here so you could see like my thunder focusing enveloping mist renewing mist blah 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 yulon boom um great add-on for tracking your globals you can do a lot with this though you can track your party members you could track your the enemy one two threes like your target focus so if i enable target let me see does it show let me see show so you should play, press show and you can change it so now i've changed it so now my target uh, it'll track my target i'll hide it now and now it should let me see do i have a target there we go it'll show the gcds of my target even though it's oh there we go there we go um not much i change here i don't really like to I, again i i mostly use this add-on for viewers but i do use it a little bit for myself when i watch it back um i changed the number of icons to four because i you know four is like a pretty good number um and i just put it down right, right here right above details nothing too crazy going on here but it's just really good for um like tracking globals next up i have mask so mask again simply cosmetic what this does is it, it, i i use this add-on to try to change the color of my action bar icons that's it so I click on mask, go to skin settings, go to global. So this is what's like, you know, every skin. And then you could just cha change the normal to like whatever color you want. You can see like down here, it's red now. I'm going to change it to blue. I change it to yellow. We're monks here. So we just keep it at green. We're just going to keep it right there. That's nice. That's a nice green right there. And that's pretty much it. This And now this will affect big debuffs, diminish, dominoes, gladius X, trophy GCD, and weak aura. So you can see with uh, trophy GCD, it has a green border. It's the only reason I use it. Next up, we have Party Pets Fix. This, for some reason, in your party frames in Arena, you can't see pets that is in your um, group. So I have this add-on. Shows Hunter Pets, shows Warlock Pets. That way you can heal them. That's pretty, that's that's literally it. Um, I would just download it because they still haven't implemented a fix for it yet. Next up, we have S Arena. So this, again, I don't change many things in here. So this is what I use for Arena frames, for Arena enemy frames, for tracking casts, interrupts, trinkets, um, anything like that. Uh, and I don't change much. I use Blizzard, Blizzard Arena right here in the top. There's different like loadouts you could use. I just use Blizzard Arena. It's really nice. And I don't change much again. Uh, spec icon, I think is 47 minus 12. I just have it in the a little bit just right to the right here. Trinkets, I don't change much here. Racials, nothing. Cast bars, nothing. And diminishing returns, I don't really track. Diminishing returns, if you're using the diminish add-on that I showed you earlier, you do not need to track diminish or DRs in S Arena. So what you could do is you can 
just disable it, go to global settings and just disable all this, um, or vice versa. What you can do is you can go to diminish and you could go to arena and you could disable arena and then go into S arena. Where is it? S arena. And then enable all these either one works. It doesn't matter which one you do. doesn't matter. I think I normally use diminish, but S arena works too. And that's it for the settings I use for this. I move it down here. I think it's control shift and you can move this around. Um, so you can move it wherever you want. I just have it right to the right here. I see a lot of healers put it to left here because that's where um, their frames are for their teammates. I just have it right to the right here. Next up, we've got sexy map. This is the top right here. Uh, yeah, I don't do anything crazy. I just have the border set to faded square. That's it. That, that's it. I don't like the default. I don't like the default map. So I just use you. There's a lot you could do here. I mean, there are so many freaking skins for this. Uh, like, it's cool. I don't. I just use faded square. There's others too that you could use. I don't, uh, there's like other ones, user submitted ones. I don't mess around with these. This actually made me lag when I use like clouds or whatever. So I just keep it simple. Faded square scales it to 1.25 and we're good. You can, again, you can make it smaller, bigger, but I don't, I don't, I like that. This is nice. Perfect. All right. We have moved over to the target dummies for these next add ons So the next add on is nameplate auras. And what this does is it puts spells above enemy nameplates this is a really good add-on for awareness what i'll show you what it does right now if i do a little in cap that's it that's what it does it shows how long what she sees on the target and then how long is left i'll do a little test mode right here um, i don't actually have these spells enabled i have what i do is i track um i track burst cooldowns and i track cc so adrenaline rush from outlaw rogues alter time from mages uh ams from dk's turtle from hunters axe toss from our demo warlocks astral shift for shaman anything like this any cc any defensive cooldown i'm tracking it um i think it's really good for awareness you just see what's active you can also you know i have other add-ons that track it too but there's something i really like the fact that you could track crowd control with this so i what i do is you know i could track my leg sweep boom all right, so there's one, there's like three seconds left. I'm gonna start casting a song now so that way I don't overlap, get a song going, and then I can see that there's six seconds, and then I'll be able to in cap right when it's over. So I'll go in cap now. So there's very little overlap between all my CC. Keep the CC chain clean, and it's really, really good for just awareness of crowd control on enemy teams because sometimes you don't know, right? I mean, I know my crowd control, but maybe I don't know when my warrior used Stormbolt, and then all of a sudden I see a Stormbolt going like, you know, on a healer, maybe I can get some follow-up CC on them. So really, really good add-on. I don't change much in here. I really don't. Um, 55, 55 for the height and width space between the icons is 11 um, spells. Again, what I do for spells is any defensive cooldown, any major defensive, and then any burst cooldown. Like I'm not talking all of them. I'm talking major burst cooldown. So I think maybe combustion is probably in here for mages or fire mages. Maybe not. Maybe there is no combustion. I guess not. All right, there's no combustion, but anything like that, I will. I would try to do celestial alignment stuff like that, and then you have defensives like divine shield, disarm, disperse, anything like that is what I'll do and track. So really good for awareness. Really, really nice. I would highly recommend using this. A very similar add-on, nameplate cooldown. So what this will do is this tracks the cooldown of major cooldowns underneath enemy nameplates. So by default, it's, I think the Y coin is zero or maybe it's 40, something like this. This is what it looks like when you first install it. And this is fine, but because of the last add on, the add on is this, I don't like, I don't like that it overlaps. I don't like that my nameplate or is nameplate cooldowns overlap. So I thought I set the Y axis to negative 40. So it's underneath and that's all I change. That That is all I change. And then I just, add spells again what you're trying to do is you're trying to track any major i can't click to add spell okay um i all i do is i track major cooldowns and defensives that's it so i'll track you know asphyxiate stun death grip um trinkets i will normally track trinkets i don't track interrupts though because i think they're kind of annoying um i have omni i have omni bar for that so i can't track uh, it doesn't let me, I don't know why, but yeah, anything major again, I would say almost the same cooldowns that you want to see above the nameplate. I would just track the cooldown of it. This is really good. So you don't have to look down here on the Omni bar to see what cooldowns are like on cooldown. You could just look at nameplates really, really helpful. I love it. Next up we have weak auras. So weak auras, I'm, if you know, if you know me, I'm a huge fan of weak auras. I actually delete this. I don't need this. Um, what I use weak auras for is pretty much everything. 
I love this add-on a lot. I use it for tracking my T of Serenity, my Shadows Lessons, anything like that. And then enemy cooldowns and burst cooldowns. I made this weak aura. Every single weak aura I have is linked in the description, by the way. So please feel free to take it and use it. Um, and then I use it for like PvP callouts like Shadow Rift and all this. This is just quick, you know, reminder of what's uh, enabled. Um, but yeah, I like weak auras a lot. There's nothing too crazy. Again, I just track... When people use burst cooldowns, it just pops up on your screen, which is really nice. And it's really helpful for awareness. One minor add-on that I didn't really show is a mini map button bag reborn right here. So this is what makes it so all the icons go into one little circle. You just click it and you can see all your add-ons right here. Really, really nice. Love this add-on a lot. Um, just makes your mini map cleaner. And we have dominoes. So dominoes is what I use for my action bars. I do get this question a lot. So I will walk you through it. Uh, I will just make, let me see, is this, okay, so this one doesn't look that good. This is this is what your UI will probably look like when you first download it. What you do is you could just click on dominoes, and this anything that's highlighted blue will show that it's enabled. So what I do is I tend to just like move my action bars to the side that I'm not going to use. I only use three major action bars to track cooldowns, and then I have like an action bar for macros, but that's fine. You know, you can do whatever you want. Um... What I do is I I hide my 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 bag button. I don't I don't need the bag. I don't need to see it. I just press B to open up my bag. Uh, Q status. Oh, this is the little I. Yeah, I'll keep that. Uh, talking head. Don't care about. I don't really care about this either. So I'll, again, I'll just put all this over here. Uh, where's the Q over here? Done. I'll put this. Usually, I'll put the uh, like bag up here and then put the little menu here. Put these over here don't need these all right so anything that's blue i'll just hide so you can hit use your middle mouse button and you can just hide it all so i hide all these boom and then i normally exit and see what's like what's left so all right so this is fine so i'll click on dominoes again uh pet bar i don't really care much about pet bar so i'll hide that too encounter bar i don't really care about either possess bar don't don't care about that either I'll put this here um and then this is also your reputation. So I'll start by just right clicking it and then you could change the width of it. So I changed the width to like hella small and I'll put this underneath my chat bar. So or my chat log thing, my little chat box. That way it's like I could see it, but it's hidden. And then I will exit out of that. And then I'll right click the action bar and I just changed the scale to 80. You know, you again, you could change this to whatever you want. This could be too small for people. That's fine. Again, you're not really, you shouldn't really be looking at your action bars anyway, besides look at cooldowns. Um, but I do change the scale to 80 for all of them. So that's there. Um, you could show, oh, why isn't the grid? There we go. So you could show the grid. So this should lock into the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should be like here. There we go. So this, this should be centered. Yeah, that's centered. Exit. So what do we got? We have the action bars here. And then if you don't want to see, this is really cool with dominoes. If you don't want to see something until you hover over it, you can right click and go to fading. And then the opacity is 100, uh, fade out, uh, fade in is 100, fade out, I set to zero. And then delay is like, like 0.1 second or something like that. I think that's what I have durations like, yeah, something like that. So now it should be faded out here. And when I mouse over it, it'll, it'll show up. So it's completely hidden. Until you mouse over it. I also that that's actually what I use for another action bar. So if you if you want a completely different action bar, let's just say you want oh this is this is actually my water and like the mounts that I want. What you can do is you can right click it. I ch ch uh, change the scale to eighty. Boom, so it matches the rest of my action bars. You can actually type it out if you wanted to make it oh okay make it a little easier for yourself. Boom, I just have it set here. And then what I do is you can right click it again, go to fading. When you fade in, you want it at 100% opacity. And then when you want it to fade out, I want the opacity to zero. And that's it. So now it's only going to show up when I mouse over it. And it, it just goes away, which is really nice. And these are all of my add-ons. If you want my add-ons, they're also in the description below that you can take the files. Uh, I have instructions. Just copy them to your folders. And that is pretty much it. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. If you have an add-on suggestion, send it to me. I love add-ons. I literally tinker with my add-ons every day. I love it so much. So that is it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.